Welcome. Welcome to this talk on the fraud number and its application to open channel flow. The fraud number is a dimensionless number defined as the ratio of a characteristic velocity scale, V, to the square root of the gravity acceleration time a characteristic length scale, L. It is a dimensionless number commonly used in open channel flow. On this photograph, present the free surface flow of the Selune River in France at Pontobo. In open channel flow, the fraud number may be derived from different fundamental principles, dimensional considerations, energy consideration and backwater equation, momentum consideration, and dimensional specific energy and critical flow conditions. Let us review these developments. Physical hydraulic modeling is a design technique used by engineers to optimize the structure design. The pi buckingham theorem implies that two dimensionless numbers are most relevant in hydraulic models. Using the same fluids in physical model and prototype, there are the Reynolds and fraud numbers. In free surface flow, the gravity effects are always important and the fraud number modeling is applied, with the fraud number being the same model and prototype. And when the gravity acceleration is constant, <coughs> A fraud similarity implies that the velocity scaling ratio is equal to the square root of the dimensional scaling ratio. This photograph illustrates a 1 in 13 scale model of the Poutes Dam in France. In gradually varied operational flow, the longitudinal free surface profile may be predicted using the differential form of the energy equation called backwater equation, as proposed in 1828. Its expression is shown here, where SF is the friction slope or slope of the total headline. After transformation, another form of the backwater equation is shown here, in which the fraud number appears, the fraud number being defined as the ratio of the velocity to the square root of g time, the ratio of the cross section area to the free surface width. In an open channel, the transition from a supercritical to a subcritical flow is called a hydraulic jump. For a smooth horizontal rectangular channel on a constant channel width, the application of the equation of conservation of mass and conservation of momentum between the two sections 1 and 2 is shown here, and yields a classical equation here called the Bélanger equation, the ratio of the conjugate depth and a second equation, which is the ratio of the conjugate fraud number. And in both, we see the importance of the upstream fraud number, FR1. This photograph illustrates a hydraulic jump experiment at the University of Queensland for a relatively large Reynolds number with flow direction from right to left. A further consideration is the derivation of critical flow conditions at minimum specific energy. The critical flow condition occurs when the specific energy is minimum, which leads to a condition as 1 minus the fraud number square equals 0. With this graph, illustrating the relationship between specific energy and water depth. The concept of fraud number, critical flow condition, hydraulic jump, and backwater equation are essential to the understanding of open channel hydraulics. They are discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies that you may find in the same channel.